So what are some common misconceptions about this practice area? Uh, some uh, common misconceptions are that it, um, if, if somebody uh, says something on the internet, that they can say whatever they want. That's not true. Uh, you can say things that are opinion, and you can say things that are true, but you don't have the right to say false things. So if uh, I had a client, for example, who posted a false statement on the internet, I could technically file an anti-slap motion, but it would probably be denied. I mean, the case wouldn't be dismissed because you don't have the right to say false things on the internet. Where the, the anti-slap motion really has its strength is when someone's being sued for a frivolous case that never should have been filed. So um, the most common misconception is when people think, well, I could say anything on the internet, right? Now, was that... Was that uh, uh... Would that be also like retweeting or resharing? Um, I'm, I'm curious because I know I've been listening to uh, uh, listening to a podcast and they're talking about the social dilemma and one of the yeah. things happening, uh, things becoming very viral. And unfortunately, are you seeing an uptick in these kind of cases because of that as well? Or absolutely, there's a big overlap between anti-slap First Amendment work and doxing, uh, where Twitter says someone on Twitter says, "Do your thing." This person did X, Y, and Z. Let's teach them a lesson. And when you retweet something that's either a false statement or you do something, you retweet something with the intent to do harm to somebody, the anti-slap motion might come into play in terms of whether or not um, an anti-slap motion can be filed. And if it's frivolous, uh, meaning the statement shouldn't have been made, uh, maybe the case could be dismissed or couldn't be dismissed. But there's a lot of, it is so easy at midnight to send a tweet uh, that could create a cascade of litigation because once you send it thousands of people can retweet retweet it like that that's the whole thing of the viral thing right you you go to sleep after you do, do that next thing you know you have all the you're like what's going on okay that that makes sense so you kind of explain yeah, that. I, I, I use i wrote go ahead no no, no actually i was gonna um I, I want you to actually elaborate on this i'm, I'm really fascinated with this yeah, I was just say, so like a good example of this is I represent a woman who uh, was misidentified as a racist, uh, racist Karen, who in Torrance um, last year had gone off on a racial tirade on videotape saying some uh, uh, terrible anti, anti-American anti things about uh, people should go home, and et cetera. And my client was misidentified as that person. And so she went to bed one night and she woke up the next morning and people had listed her name, her number. People called her employer and told her she should go be fired. And even after we had the Torrance Police Department issue a press release saying it's not this person, she still had hateful things said about her on the Internet. It was it was terrible. 